Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Cobalt Empire. So I do apologize for the lack of content over the past few days. Um, I've had a few things that have came up and I just simply was not able to make any content. I guess the biggest thing that probably happened that kept me from making content for it was uh, Fallout 4 came out. Now, it's not what you think. <clears throat> you guys are probably thinking, oh, I see. I know what you did. You, uh, you rat bastard. You spent all that time playing Fallout 4 instead of making content for us. Untrue. Actually, what happened was, um, as I may have mentioned in some of my other videos, perhaps even in my Dwarf Fortress videos, I have simulator sickness. And uh, what that basically means is that I get motion sick when I play games with certain um, uh, certain fields of vision that offend my senses. And Fallout 4 thus far has been very, very bad for me. Um, I, the first night I played it, I played it for about five hours. And I logged off from Fallout 4 feeling very, very ill. Um, the next day I woke up and I felt better and I tried to play again and then after about two hours I felt very very ill and as a matter of fact I was pretty much ill for the next day. Uh, even sleeping it still kind of came back so you know I really want to play Fallout 4 because I think it's really cool. Um, not in my opinion I've only played it for about 10 hours. Not as cool as Witcher 3 was but I'm a little bit more I like the story more than I do uh, the combat which the combat in Witcher 3 was good too but you know the story of Witcher 3 in my opinion uh, really really stands head and shoulders above Fallout 4 but I guess you know that's what happens when your subject matter you know the Witcher is based on a series of novels so Fallout 4 you know it's a fresh story so I don't know anyways uh, let's get back to Dwarf Fortress so I think what happened in the last episode was we killed a rock, right? I want a rock! Um, we killed a rock, and so let's let's see, Did, I don't think any of our folks died. The rock died, and you know it doesn't look like any of our, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like any of our, our uh, farm animals died, so I guess it I guess it was just a random wild animal that died. I don't know. I could have swore I saw uh, something get get killed up here. Dobar Kulatazan. Who's Dobar Kulatazan? Who's that? Dobar Kulatazan. Is that one of our dwarves? Did one of our dwarves get something ripped off of them? Let's see. Um, you know, it could have been, didn't we have, at, didn't we have at one point a, um, yeah, I wonder if it wasn't the, um, something with the trade caravan, maybe, do they have a Dobar Kula Tossin? No, I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. Under others. Nothing there. Huh. What another dead? Oh, it was a U. A U. One of the war dogs is dead too. Hmm. Maybe we did. Maybe we did get something. Did get killed. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, war dog, reindeer, cow been found dead. The U is dead. Yeah. Okay. It did kill some things. It did kill some things. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. But it's not that bad. It didn't kill that much, you know. And we sent everybody out there, and a lot of you guys have said, hey. That's how it's meant to be. That's how we're supposed to do it. You're supposed to send all those dwarves at the same time so they can dogpile them. And I agree, it was a lot of fun. Alright, let's go ahead and remove the burrow restriction. 
so that our dwarves can get on with their business. Now, uh, what do we got here in the others? It's kind of it's kind of hard to see, you know, like what's going on here, simply because we have all these merchants and their damn beasts. So, yeah, this guy right here, Damid. That's the guy that's like spreading fire everywhere, right? That we're thinking about uh, going after. Okay, uh, Amost Mozibnil, Mace Dwarf, has bestowed the name Aval Sidil Arash Bobet upon a bronze mace. Well, that's good. That means that he grew very attached to it. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and remove their station. So we'll cancel the orders. Let them get back to work. Resume. Very good. So things go back to, I guess you'd say, a little bit of the status quo now, don't they? Sort of. Well, I really, I think I want to go take out that thing down there. And that, um... That might be the end of this. The end of this campaign. I feel like this this uh, fortress has went on for a while, and I think that you guys would probably appreciate something new. And I'm also to the point where I'd kind of like to start something a little bit new too. Uh, you guys have given me some really interesting ideas for what you'd like to see in in uh, future in future fortresses, and I plan on using some of your ideas. Now, you guys have given me a lot of different ideas. Um, and I'm simply not going to be able to work with all of them at the same time. Hell, I probably couldn't even fit them into like two or three fortresses. Uh, because, well, number one, there's just, you give me so many. But also, number two, a lot of the things that you guys have given me are extremely challenging, which I welcome. But, uh, I'm, I, I play this for fun. <laughs> so I'm not gonna like, uh, I'm not gonna drape a millstone around my neck and go jump into a big lake, you know? So I'm, I'm not necessarily looking to uh, for my next fortress to be anything like a huge jump in difficulty. Alright, uh, so what, where is he? Is he on the second cavern layer, the first cavern layer? He's been hanging out here, which is, I think, in the, in the first cavern layer. Probably pretty easy to get to him. Just uh, what we could do is we could just go down from there. Like, we could, uh, like right here. We could just make, well, actually, we'd probably have to go to, like, here. Or maybe even here. And then we could make, like, a, a downstairs. And then a, a little, like, waiting room for our militias. And then go in through the wall here. And then have them go down there and fight him. I think that sounds fun. Uh, he's been terrorizing the Drolthas for far, far too long. Yeah, that's Cavern Lair 1, I think. I think? Not sure. Maybe it's 2? I don't, I don't know. The easiest way to do this is just to bring him up. I think I passed it. Okay. So, let's go up here. Okay, so we have a hallway that is reachable from here. That's Cavern Lair 1 because that's where our well is. He's right by our well. I'm surprised he doesn't just come up in through the well and go, surprise! Anyways. I guess he's not about that life. So we'll do a downstair here. And then right here we'll do an upstair. And then we'll, do, we'll just mine out a little chamber here. Like that, and then we'll let everybody. We're gonna we're gonna let that get done. We'll let that get done, and then we will um, go take care of business. He's moving again. He's moving again. He's on the move. Is there seriously? Is there not an easier way to get down to this? Did we really like seriously? We didn't. Okay, the llama is dead. I guess not. Because hmm. those are two separate cavern layers. It doesn't look like anybody's wanting to come down and mine that. Can they get down to it, I guess, is the real question. Maybe they can't. There he goes again. 
chasing a Droth, I bet. Yeah, it looks like he's chasing a Droth. He's getting some food. You know, uh, a demon's gotta eat. Forgotten beast, gotta eat. Gotta get his snack on. Get his munch on. Alright, let's see. Would that work? Uh, not really. What we need to do is we need, like, some upstairs here. Okay. And then we do up downstairs here. And then here. That should work. Yeah, that should work. And then we mine, like, say, actually, we could just mine out right there and be like, hey, buddy. They can get down there, right? I mean, yeah, that, that shaft is, is most definitely connected. Hopper. How are people... We have another one going here, I guess, right? Where did we dig that off from? Up here. Interesting. Well, we could go in from over here, I guess. That would get us there. Slowly. But surely. It just doesn't seem like they want to have anything to do with that other shaft. And it could be that I am missing something, I suppose. Alright, we'll go in from there. That's fine. that will give him a little bit more time to regroup, huh? See if they mind that. Hmm. I don't know. This is uh, forever a problem. It seems like. From time to time, I want to dig something out. And I just can't get it dug. But it also could be that they're mining something else. I mean... Yeah, where are they digging right now? Up there? Okay. Well, they might just come down whenever they get finished with that. Maybe. So we've got some troglodytes. Where you at, brother? I'm keeping an eye on you. So yeah, I'm thinking... We've had a lot of really good ideas. For our next fortress it's no lie we've had a lot of really good ideas um you know we had ideas to do like a tundra embark with no wood which would be challenging because we would have to get all of our wood and our water from underground sources we've had the idea to do an above ground fortress which sounds pretty interesting um the challenge with that of course is that you have to dedicate so much of your resources into masonry um, you know, we've had, uh, other ideas as well that have been very good. You know, I have not forgotten anybody's ideas, so don't, don't be afraid about that. If you don't, you know, if I start a new series and it's not your complete idea or anything, don't, don't feel bad. It doesn't mean that you don't have a good idea. It just means that, uh, I didn't feel like the idea was right at the time for what I want to do. So... I really wish we would get this dug. Like, I've, I've offered them numerous, numerous options for digging. Yeah, they should be able to get through there. Are we still digging? Ah, they're still digging. They're still digging on this level, getting out all that gold that I told them to get out. So I, get, I guess I can't really... Bl Ghostly Planter! Oh, no! The Tan Armor Fords, the Ghostly Planter. It's because we didn't, uh, we haven't interred his body. Shelly has a mandate. Oh no, what's she wanting now? It could also be that we just didn't have the setup for tombs. Maybe now we can uh, get him laid to rest. Markstorf, war, war Dog, the U. They, 
Why? Okay. You're buried. You're buried, dude. Why are you why are you haunting us? I don't understand. Why are you haunting us? But it's been buried. There's uh there's Okay, well we can make you a memorial slab. Slab. One. Okay. Well now they're they're carving out up here. You know, it's it's kinda sad because you know Shelly, you know, just got made the Duchess, you know, but there'll be other duchies. There'll be other duchies. Now I can't say for sure that uh, that Shelly will be the Duchess next time. Shelly might not want her want her name used, or they might want a completely different name, which is completely fine. By the way, you guys do need to get those in if you're wanting a name in the uh, new fortress. Go ahead and get those to me because I'm not just going to assume that you guys want your name in. I'm going to want you guys to actually submit what you want. You can change your name, that's fine, I don't care. If you have a theme or an idea that you'd like see, like me to do, then go ahead and toss that to me. As long as it's not something completely outlandish, uh, I have no problem with it. You know, don't, don't like, you know, come to me and say, well, uh, I want you to name a minor Mr. Pickles, and the only thing he eats is, is cucumbers. That's, you know, that wouldn't be something I could do. So, Uh-oh, she ended a mandate, but we didn't do anything about it. So that means she probably is pissed about it. No, she's not mad. Okay. Shelly is very calm and level-headed. Come on, guys. Really. How long is this going to take you to get this done? And I mean, I know that I could have, like, put a higher priority on the mining down there, but I didn't think it would be this big of a deal. I figured we'd get this done a little quicker. He's risen, and he's haunting the fortress. Just, you know, just add a little bit more drama to it. Alright, let's see if it's getting mined out now. Okay, so he's moved over there, huh? Save the dram. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Save the drammy for your mammy. Here it comes. We're about to get. It's about to go live, boys. Uh oh. Onul Dalzat Shem Engraver has been found dead, dehydrated. How? How is that possible? How is. How, how did somebody die of dehydration? I don't understand. I don't understand how that happens. What? What? What just happened here? What's that? That's like the the really tall cavern lair. And that's the Forgotten Beast right down there. How did you get in there? What's this? What's this thing? A troglodyte. How did you get in there? We closed that up, didn't we? Have you been stuck in there the whole time? You jackass. Yeah, I thought we closed that up, didn't we? To where nobody could get in. I thought. you get in there like we had an opening like down here I want to say right yeah we closed that up maybe <laughs> maybe he walled himself in like a dumbass which is what these dwarves really love to do trust me I've had problems with that before like I've had problems with dwarves uh, walling themselves in with uh, like Werebeasts before. I'm like, oh my god. 
Yeah, that was a mess. Huge mess. Oh, there's my timer. We're gonna we're gonna see this through though. All right, where's my where's my shaft? All right, so there he's just about done. Let's go ahead and get our squads. Bronze gods, whiskered seals, copper caves. You know you have orders. You have orders. All right, let's make ranks. Form up here. We're gonna let everybody get down here together. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Wow, it's like he just sensed that there was an opening. He just, like, his demonic senses. He's like, I smell plump helmets. Oh, wow, he just came right for it, didn't he? Okay, we're gonna, fo we're gonna put him on follow. Uh, let's go ahead and tell our squads to actually just attack him. Uh, we could also attack the ghost. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Alright. Resume. Are we still following him? I want to follow him. Follow. Okay, so he's going up the going up the shaft. He's not moving too fast. Oh man. Oh man, that's like a horrible place for us to fight him if if they get to him there. I can't believe that we opened it up and he immediately went straight to it. It's kind of strange. Wait, is he going down or is he going up? He went down. He went down to the second cavern layer. And now he's just chilling. He's like, yeah, I'm cool. It's cool. Like, he went to the exact same spot that the uh, other Forgotten Beast died. Where are these squads at? Where are they at? Okay. Are they at the party or something? Well, a lot of them are not. Where are you? Okay, you're up here. I don't get it. <laughs> they might be partying. Put him on follow. Okay, so he's going back up the stairs. Or maybe he's going further down? No, he's going back up. He went back up. He he just wanted to come down and get him a little crundle snack. And now he looks like he's heading back into the caverns. I don't know. He's going to eat the uh, eat the cap hopper there. No, he just went on right on by it. Is he going to go up or down? Up or down? Looks like... Up. Yeah, he's definitely going up now. Okay, I think he just killed somebody. Yeah, he just killed the engraver. He was collecting webs. Wait, he didn't kill him. Dangerous terrain, huh? From the fire. It's like we can't see anything because of the, like, steam. Where are my militia squads? Come on, guys. Is he running away? No, he's chasing somebody. Who's he chasing? Who is that? Kel Mirror Heat. What a what an apt name. What's he? Damned Whisper Poison. All right, so he he chased him and then he gave up. And he's like, all right, screw you. You can run pretty fast. I'm gonna go and find somebody else to munch on. So it looks like he. Okay, the squad's got to him. I just saw somebody fire a bolt at him. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Oh my. Looks like he's sh is he shooting fireballs? Is he shooting fireballs at them? That's insane! Huge battle. Can't see what's going on because of all the steam and smoke. He confirmed he's shooting fireballs at chickens. It's confirmed. This chicken, this hen, Bomrick watched Dabby is experiencing mortal fear because he's trying to turn her into fried chicken. Confirmed. Fried chicken confirmed. Where's the rest of my squads? Come on, guys. No reachable. What? What? How is he not reachable? Where is he? 
Is it because he is like cloaked in smoke? They can't see him? Looks like it, his name changed. Oh! Oh, he's trying to break down the door. So I think this is a door. Yeah, it's a door. But I don't know why. He, he's a building destroyer. He should be able to get through it. Yeah, his name changed. Because he killed people. He like leveled up. So now he's damaged Whisper Poison the something. So he's going to break that door down. It's I mean, it's going to happen. And then he's going to go through. Oh, if you know what's good for you, you will not hang out back there. Where's he at? He's still... He's still trying to break that door down. But, f to my knowledge, Forgotten Beasts are level 2 building destroyers. So they can destroy these things. I just wonder why my uh, militia squad say they can't get to him. Where's this located at? It's like right there! It's literally right there. If he breaks down that door, it's like... Seriously on. I could just like let him through. Let's just let him through. Uh... It says it's passable. It's not even forbidden. Yeah, it's not even forbidden. He's just hanging out at the door. What is he waiting for somebody to come by and, you know, like let him in? What is he sated? He's not hungry anymore. Can we tell them to move here? Let's try. See, they're they're right there. They're right there. Okay. All right. So now attack, right? Nothing? Really? Is there another way to get through get down there? Was that door stuck or something? And they're all gone. Where does that come up at? That's our like very strange. I guess we could remove the door. Yeah, he's like lighting it on fire. It's like molten hot. Warm, warm. Remove building. This ought to be funny. So, whoever the poor soul is that comes down here to remove that is going to get et. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. He's like, he's like, I don't know about this. This sounds really stupid. <laughs> Indeed. It was really stupid. Alright. Where are you at? Oh! He's up here in the middle of everything. Where are our squads at? They're right there. Okay. This should be interesting. He's in the middle of... Look at our FPS. This is like plummeting. There's so much going on right now. You can't. You, you got to know that like that fire and that smoke and everything is definitely, definitely a problem for the for the pro, for the game for the processes. This is probably like the worst possible place that we could have had him get to for a fight. Like worst ever. You know. So we got. Uh, looks like we got some some dead dwarves. For sure. This guy means business. Can't even see them though because of all this smoke. Well, yeah, he's still alive. He's still alive. What's going on here? Let's look at let's look at our report. Okay. Forgotten Beast is fighting. What's going on with that? Alright, so... He kicked the blacksmith in the left hand with its right front foot. Charged the blacksmith. He jumped away. Kicked him again. Attacked the black... Pearls a ball of fire. Breathes fire. Holy shit. 
kicks the blacksmith in the neck. That seems like that would be curtains right there. Like, this huge, powerful beast is like, I'm gonna get you. It like, hurls a ball of fire at you, breathes fire at you, and then it kicks you in the neck. It, but it only bruised the skin. Because he has a cloak. Interesting. Uh, blacksmith's knocked over, tumbles backwards, still going at the blacksmith, hurling... Okay, the blacksmith got killed. <laughs> Uh, her, breathing fire, hurling fire, missing them. Okay, so now he's actually fighting. He's into the uh, the military units, and it's like he's missing. Oh, now he's after the engraver. Oh man! Wow. Dangerous terrain. <laughs> it's dangerous terrain in here. I don't want to have a party. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> that FPS, man. It's gonna take like a year and a half for this to resolve itself. Who's this chode over here that's just hanging out? Who's this guy? Crondle Thunder, dude. You gotta get in there, man. You gotta get your ass in there. Come on. He's over. He's just standing over there, looking all cool in his champion armor. Probably the problem is can't see anything. It looks like everything's on fire. Is everything on fire? I saw more fireballs going off. Smoke. Smoke. Yeah. Lots of smoke everywhere. Smoke. Awesome. This poor baby is in here. What's going on? The smell of burning flesh. Smoke and fire. Okay, so there is a fire going now in here. Looks, it looks like these bright red ones are fire. So our our living our dining room is officially on fire. He's breathing fire onto the walls. Wow. Who's this guy in here? Is this an? Is this like a liaison? That would be hilarious. If there was a liaison waiting to meet with Shelly and we're being attacked by a forgotten beast. But I, like the FPS is running so slow, I can't even click on things. It's seriously like, it's really bad, guys. I just want to know who this is. I guess we could look at the other screen, and it would tell us. Looks like the ghost went away. He might have killed the ghost for us. That would be really funny. Uh, man, look at all those people that are that are that are getting killed. Yuri, N Mac, no, Yuri dead. Yuri and Mac are both missing. They're probably dead. Killed by the Forgotten Beast. No. You know, all I wanted to do was get the squads around him. I should have, I should have stationed the squads down there first. But I didn't think he was going to like go like a, uh, like the, uh, you know, an arrow, like straight over to it, you know. I really want to see if they'll, if they're going to be able to kill it, but like, it's just going so dang slow, you know. Alright, so yeah, Svengal, the planner, Svengal's dead. Svengal. Damn. Damn, he's picking off the weak is what he's doing, man. Svengal looks like he really, you know, he gave it gave it all, you know, but uh, he just couldn't do it. Where, where, what are the, what is the militia doing here? Come on, guys. Did you run out of bolts or something? There's Svengal. He tried. He just, just didn't work for him. Peasants out hunting, okay. Caught in a cloud of flames. Kishi. Kishi's Kishi's been wounded, but it's just annoying. It's it's not that it's not a big deal. It's just a flesh wound. So the miners are getting in there. I just want to know why are my militias not getting in there? Is it because there's just too many people in there? You know? I mean I I have them set to kill, right? A B C move here right and where is where is he at 
I mean, assuming he's yeah, he's still just right there. You I mean he's like he's like squatted down on a table, just breathing fire everywhere. Is what's going on. But I can't see. You know, I, I know we've got some people around here, but they're just not going in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa! Crundle Thunder's on fire! Oh, he's stationed. Why are you stationed? I know I just stationed him there, but can't you see... Can't seem to kill him, I guess, because of all this smoke. I guess the ideal place to fight this guy would be, like, outside. I guess. Because you can, like, the smoke would just, like, go up into the air, you know? Yeah. Can you guys attack him now? I mean... Maybe? Getting any combat reports? Yes. Crundle Thunder got in there now. Crab dead. Shelly. Shelly. You can do it. Except all she's doing is complaining. Crab death blocks the fire. That's just... Oh, Crab Death's dead. Crundle Thunder is, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's just blocking. He's blocking. It's hard for him to see. You know? It's hard for him to see. I mean, is everybody else dead? What's going on with our... Let's just pull up our uh, militia screen here. Okay, so once died out of the Whispered Seals. Two of the Bronze Gods are dead. One copper cave. We still got plenty of people. Plenty of people. Come on, guys. Let's rally. You can do this. Get in there and fight. <laughs> well, at least Crundle Thunder joined the battle. What about these guys? Who are, who's over here just lounging? They're like, not me. Mm-mm. I ain't going in there. These are the smart guys. L Libash, clutch, the clutch Theaters. So what's going on here? Farmer. Somebody's dead body. <laughs> Alright, well, let's take one final look here and see what's happening. It's a pretty good pretty good way for this, uh, this fortress to go out. The picture of the champion, you know, like, standing next to this infernal beast that's, like, standing on top of the tables in the dining room, like, breathing flames down everywhere, blocking the fire with his shield over the body of his dead comrade. So, anyways. Uh, a million thanks, everybody, for supporting the Dwarf Fortress content. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun to make the Dwarf Fortress content. And interacting with you guys is what really makes it uh, over-the-top fun for me. So, like, you know, I enjoy Dwarf Fortress, but I just as much enjoy hearing your ideas, interacting with you guys. So what we're going to do here is um, I'm probably going to let Dwarf Fortress cool off for maybe a day or two uh, just so you guys have a chance to get in your names if you want your names for the new fortress in. Um, and yeah, then after a few days we will pick it back up. I'll select some kind of a theme. Uh, we'll get our seven dwarves going and we'll embark. So thanks again, everybody, for supporting Cobalt Empires, or Cobalt Empire. It was a lot of fun. But everything has to come to an end. And uh, I probably would have went longer on this, but the FPS was just starting to get really low. And it, you know, it could have been, it really could have been this Forgotten Beast's fault. It really could have been because he was burning, you know, everywhere that he moved down there and causing so much, like, smoke and fire and... When the game constantly has to check for temperature and things like that, uh, that gets factored into your FPS. So, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, game on.